Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. Today I'll teach you how to use your keyboard to interact with stuff on screen. As always, to save time, I'm starting from the code of the previous episode. The goal of this episode is to move around this marble, but not with the mouse motion event, but with the push of some keys on your keyboard. So for now we want to remove the home mouse motion event, but maybe in future can be useful so instead of delete this part we can insert in a comment section a comment section is a part of the code that Python don't read to create a comment section you must write three quotation mark at the beginning at in the end of the part of the code that you want then I introduce you two new events the on key press event and the on key release event first function understand if some keys on keyboard are pressed and the second understand if the keys are released. We want to store the information about the key that the user is press. So when a user push a button in his keyboard, the self dot key become the id of that button that is named symbol. When instead the user release the button, if self key is equal to symbol, self key becomes known. Then in the on draw event we create some conditions if the activated key is equal to app and the app variable in piglet is piglet window key app then the y position increase by one unit instead if the user press down so piglet.window.k.down the y variable decrease by one we can just copy past and have some changement for the right and left condition. Then we must recreate the points with the vertex list function and run the program to see if all is alright. Why it's not working? I think because the onDraw function doesn't work very well and to solve this problem outside the myWindow function when we create the window we just call another function that is called piglet clock schedule interval and this piglet clock schedule call periodically some event for example the on draw event every two milliseconds and to do that we must enter here a variable that it's normally set to two milliseconds now run the program it's moving but it's too slow create some variable uh, speed that is equal to two so we can change this with the speed variable and now it's working very well Whoa! So I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time!